creation clues. And today I'm going to show you how we take a core sample of snow or ice. I have the outer cylinder of my rain gauge, my snow swatter, and a ruler for measuring the snow depth. So come on, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so as we come closer here, this is my snowboard that we have. It's underneath all the snow, so you can't really see it. So I have this stake to mark where it is. We're gonna put this cylinder, the outer cylinder, upside down on the board. Make sure it's down all the way so it gets in all the snow. And we use the snow swatter here, or you can use your glove to clear away any of the snow so we get to the snowboard down there. The snowboard helps us get directly underneath it and flip it. Now we have our perfect core sample in there. And this is our snowboard underneath it. We're gonna clear away some of the rest of the snow and measure how much snow is on top of our snow. Looks like about 2.4 inches right now. Now that we have our core sample measured, and the depth of the snow on the snowboard. We're going to clear away the rest of the snow from the snowboard so we can start over with a fresh sample tomorrow. Notice the snowboard is white, so it matches the snow. We want it to match the snow so that it doesn't so it reflect the sun's heat in the same way that the snow around it does. Now that we have our core sample of the snow, we're going to melt it down to figure out what the snow water equivalent is, meaning how much water is in this snow. To do that, we're going to melt it with hot water, just from the tap. We need to measure how much water, how much hot water we're adding. Right here. We have, reading from the bottom of the meniscus, that's that curve at the bottom, we have 0.63 inches of hot water we're adding. So we just pour it in and shake it around to start melting the snow. It still has a ways to go in melting, so we're gonna add some more. But first, we need to write down what, how much we added. By the time we actually got the snow melted, we ended up having to add exactly two inches of warm water. So we'll subtract that from the water equivalent measurement we get out of this. To measure the water equivalent, we're going to take the funnel from the rain gauge and the inner cylinder, and we're going to start measuring a little bit at a time. There's .94. I'm going to dump that out and take note of it. And we just keep on measuring a little bit at a time. Okay, so after adding together all those measurements that we got, we in, and subtracting how much water we added, 2 inches, we measured 2.78 and minus the 2 inches we added means we have 0.78 inches. So that's 0.78 inches worth of water out of that much snow that we found in the core sample. That's how you take a core sample. And then we also caught, in the outer cylinder here, we caught snow just regularly and melted it down and got 0.84 inches worth of snow water equivalent. So comparing that to this 0.78, they're pretty close there. So that means we got a pretty accurate measurement. Here are the tools we use to measure snow. We have the official Cocoa Raws rain gauge. Now this is just like the rain gauge is used by the National Weather Service, only it's half the size and is made out of clear plastic instead of metal. The clear plastic helps you see through it. Mine is pretty old, so it's, the, the plastic is pretty foggy and beaten up. It has three components. There's the funnel that fits on the top. 
and the outer cylinder and inner cylinder. The inner cylinder precisely measures how much rain we got in hundredths of an inch. The whole inner cylinder can only hold one inch and any rain over that spills out into the outer cylinder, the bigger part. There. When we measure snow, we just put the outer cylinder outside so that the inner cylinder is smaller and the funnel don't get clogged up with all the snow. And then we bring it in and melt, melt the snow to figure out how much water we got out of it. You also are going to want a snow swatter, which is a cheap fly swatter basically that you use to, to move the snow, and a ruler to measure how deep the snow is in different places. and measured what was in the rain gauge. We're going to put the outer cylinder back up here on the bracket so that we can measure any new snowfall that comes in there and then do the same thing measuring that. Sometimes the snow will get piled up all around the edges and the way we fix that is we just take our fly swatter and what falls in we measure, what falls out we don't. 